going to hit the magical record button and give a professional countdown-ish in three, two, one. Hello, the internet. Matthew here for another outstanding episode of Something 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 Creative. I have for you, my lovely audience, an incredible photographer, an incredible creative mind, a beautiful soul who has come so far and done so much. Uh, she makes incredible artwork. I'm going to keep using that word incredible a lot because I think it fits her. Giselle Corrado, thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Matthew. I'm so honored to be here. And I was so excited. I, you know, you one of the person that I follow that I really admire what you do. You. And I just wish you the best. And I just hope you show can, it, you know, it can be seen all over the world for a lot of people, because I bet it's going to help a lot, of, a lot of people. It's going to inspire. Thank you. That's exactly what the show is all about. And that's exactly why I wanted to have you on. I think you're very inspirational. I love oh, your work. You. Um, I'm going to be throwing a lot of your images up here on B-roll so people can see thank the you. incredible work you do. Uh, and you've been all over. you got a hell of a story. So uh, yes. I'm just going to jump right into the first and probably the most important question. What got you started with photography? I'm... I'm a very social person mm -hmm. and I like to go out and explore, mm -hmm. see new places. Right. So, but I feel like kind of nostalgic when I'm not there anymore. Okay. So I'm just like, how can I steal a little bit of that place, a little bit of that moment? Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, photography. Okay. So I got my first camera and I had no idea how to use it. I'm like, okay, how do I use this now? <laughs> What do I do? Right. <laughs> so, and then I start going to classes, to taking classes. And, you know, it's, it's, I discovered that that's the art that I love, where I can express myself. And, you know, it's, it's an art based of, uh, on our technology. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, not, it's, it's not like you're painting, it's, you know, you right. need to be, uh, you know, always learning about, technology, the new programs, the photo, the photo, the Photoshop and Lightroom and all this. I'm like, okay, like, wait a minute. When I went to school, it's like, uh, what do, how do I do the workflow? Uh, how do I transfer? I have a PC. I didn't know how to even use a Mac. Right. So it was a long process. And I was at the Westchester Community College where a lot of, you know, young people take those classes just because it's easy for them and they just would need those credits. Right. So I, here I was like, oh my God, can you please help me? How do I do this? How do I transfer my pictures? <laughs> so, and then, uh, yeah, I was, that's how it started, you know, from scratch. Okay. Now wait, how far, how, how long ago did you really start doing this? Exactly like eight years ago. Eight years. Yes. I'm going to make sure I throw some more pictures on the B-roll because people need Thanks. to see the, 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 the level of work that you've done in what is really, uh, uh, as far as I know, like I've talked to a lot of photographers and aside from people who might have like a really, really natural talent for just seeing things, um, your work is incredible. Thank and you. It's so, oftentimes to get to that level of work that you do, it takes photographers longer than that, I find. Um, and, mm -hmm. and you've already, you, you're doing paid commission, uh, paid work. You're traveling yeah. a lot. I know you yeah. said you like traveling and going places is something you wanted to capture. And I see a lot of the, like you do a lot of locations, like you almost never use sets. If, if, if I'm mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, yes. always yeah. well, except, except now this year, well, except now. <laughs> actually you did a, you did a, a, like a small set not that long ago with that woman who had her store. Oh like, yes. Yeah, yeah. It was somebody, yes. it was the, the, for, for these uh, commercial, for these mm -hmm. uh, dresses, beautiful dresses. So yeah. Lo yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean that, but yeah, you you go all over the place. All right. So in eight years, you went from here's this camera. I don't know what I'm doing to yes. traveling out and and doing and working with all these incredible models and and yoga instructors and 
Yeah. How did how did you fall in doing the, that kind of work? Do, or should let me ask you this: Did you go into it with the mind like I want to work with all these beautiful athletic models? Or you just no how did that happen? No, no. Uh, my uh, I wanted to capture images for my for myself. Okay. For memories, um, and then I was what can I capture? Like people say, what kind of photographer are you? Like, I'm a photographer, you know, it's like, I don't know what to tell you. And then, but like I said, I'm very social. So I like to be around people. Mm -hmm. So I try with kids, mm -hmm. uh, events, you know, and some, I did some weddings, but it wasn't what I really, really wanted. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately in 2017, I got diagnosed with breast cancer. Mm. Um, so immediately I have to start treatments. Mm. I, my whole life is stopped. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a pause right. for almost over two years. Okay. So I was very active at the gym. The gym for me was my outlet mm -hmm. for me. That was where I forgot about everything. Mm -hmm. And, and I really appreciate the work that they do when they go to the gym, like mm -hmm. to be fit, it's not easy. Right. And it requires a lot of discipline, mm -hmm. you name it. Right. And I was, I live in a very small apartment and I was with all my, going through all my treatments and I was looking every wall, it's like, what am I gonna do? When am I gonna go back? What am I, you know, and and I said, well, you know, if I cannot do this exercise, let me capture people who knows how to do it. Oh, okay. And for me, it's very, very special. Uh, so then I start contact people that I knew from the gym. That's how I started. I know very, very amazing people. One of my yoga instructors was Rini Diamond. She's amazing. She was... Um, very close to Tao, one of the yoga instructor, the oldest yoga instructor in the world, that she died 101 years old, uh, a few months, like a six months ago, on, within a year. Mm. So Tao was Rini's- um, Mentor. Yes, mentor. And she's one, like the one that was very close to me. So that's how I started being interested in, in, in yoga photography. Okay. I met another, a uh, very famous yoga photographer. And that's how I was like, oh, this is very interesting. Then that's how I started to contact people to work with them. And they, you know, at the beginning, because I didn't have experience as uh, a lot of people, they don't want it to be photographed by you right. because they don't know what can you create, create. And then, so one of the, one of the first people that I was, photographing was Janice Lou that now she's one of my best friends the my traveling partner you name it right. in the beginning she's like she, on the floor she's like okay tell me what your ideas what do you want to do and this and she's not only a yoga instructor but she's uh, a photographer as well she's very creative so she knew like she wanted to know what I was going to create so right. that's how we started with her and then when every time we got we get together because she's so creative and I'm creative we make these amazing pictures and we've been traveling to Bali Taiwan you know within the United States mm -hmm. so it's been amazing it's been amazing and for me that's what now it's my therapy, it's my passion, it's my outlet to capture these images of the result of these people's practice. That is incredible. I, I, so my, my brain is going in a lot of different places. And the thing is, I, I should say, I've, I've had some experience with photography. I took it in high school, pre-digital. So I'm dating myself a little bit here, working uh -huh. in the dark room, uh, had a dark room in my house uh, years ago. Um, so that That's was like amazing. Old, yeah, that was like the old way of doing things. And then digital, digital came around and I, I experimented that for a little bit, uh, for a little bit of time. So I understand like, you know, composition and lighting. I was always bad with lighting. I'm, I'm going to admit that right away. Um, <laughs> and you know, I worked with Adobe Photoshop for, you know, a, a while and, and, and all this, but there's to me, there's so many variables in a photograph. And I guess maybe for me, I find, I find that looking back on what, you know, work that I had done, 
is that I often over intellectualized what I was doing, talking about, oh, this light level and that placement and this cropping and that. I got very, very technical on it and nothing ever seemed to have that, like, or I should say very, very rarely had that emotional power, that emotional impact, because I used my left hemisphere to make a good shot. And I think I, that's part of the reason I gave up doing photography is because I got too technical about it. I got too much in my head. Okay. I look at your work and I look at the work of, I, I'm friends with a lot of photographers and I look at, at, at what you and other photographers can do and there's something so there, there's something like a painting in that. There's that emotional creative aspect that I never really got and I envy it and I envy no. you. And I envy you <laughs> totally. to that because like you said, you are capturing something. You didn't make it. You didn't put it onto an image. You have to draw it out of an image that's there. So I don't know if I'm extrapolating too much, but do you find that it's more for you of an instinct or is it a level of training or is it a combination of both? How do you make both. that happen? Both. And like I said, I wasn't that good with uh, di digital, like with mm -hmm. technology. So for me, it was very uh, disappointing at the beginning, but my love for, to for photography was so big that, you know, it's like, I need to get over it. I need to learn. And I'm still learning every single day. You know, it's, it's never, you never stop learning. Uh, but it's uh, definitely, it's a combination of my passion mm -hmm. and hard work. Passion and hard work. So, yeah. all right. So you said something very interesting is that it was, it was difficult, but it was also not what you wanted to see. It was not good, but your love overrode your disappointment. Yes. And it was, have you always been that way? Like you let your heart kind of move you in those yes. directions? Yes, I'm, I'm getting very that persistent. From your story. I'm very persistent. I'm not that, I'm not that, that person that catch stuff like very fast. Mm -hmm. Like other people, they just read something. No, I, for me to learn something, it takes me a long time to learn, you know, and I'm not, I have to have mentors. I have to have like one in one, but I did it. I did it. Like I still have people that I get close to it and they, I still pay for other people who help me to learn, you know, if I don't understand something. I try now with YouTube, you can learn a lot, but yeah. I'm not that kind of person. Okay. I, you know, and I see it, and so I have to look for help. So I humble enough <laughs> yeah. to, because it's not easy for me. All I right. have learned that as well, to be humble yeah. and learn how to ask for help. Okay. A lot of people, they won't help you. If, you know, either that you offer them to pay, you know, to say, can you please help me? I wanna pay you they don't want to help you. It doesn't matter if they are in another state that is not competition at all. You know, so you just have to learn how to deal with it and to keep pushing. And at the beginning, photography, mm -hmm. either you love it or you hate it. <laughs> I can feel you on that. Yes, because it's a lot to learn. Yeah. It's a lot. So, and yeah. like I said, you know, and then, you need to know how to approach, if you're social, um, you need to, if you want to photograph people, you need to know how to approach them. Mm -hmm. You know, how to, how to talk to them, how to make them feel better. Um, for me, when I'm going to photograph somebody, I always, I always, you know, be thankful. And I always let them know. I say, thank you so much for letting me capture this image of you. Mm -hmm. I say, I'm glad you're doing this for yourself. You deserve it mm -hmm. to have these images for you when you get old or in when you, for your family. Right. And so one day I want you to sit and see the pictures and, you know, and see how beautiful. And so you can see how beautiful you, you, you look, you look. Right. Yeah. That's, there, there's so much in there. And I, I just find it funny how, or not really funny, but interesting how you, you tie it to your outgoing nature, to your ability to connect to people. And, that's, and, and, and that passion drew you to that form. And like I said, that's what drew me to your art uh, was actually a friend of mine had, I think, I think maybe a friend of mine had shared it or something. And then I ended up following you on, on Instagram and Facebook because my, my a friend of mine was following you. And I'm just like, this is... This is just incredible because you, you, you let that passion draw you. 
and that passion with people. And, and I just find that incredible. So thank you. Thank, uh, you're welcome. But you have to have an eye too. Okay. No, everybody can appreciate it. You know, you have the eye to appreciate that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. But I, I, you think like, I think you like art. How that draws together. I'm sorry? You like art and you like photography. So you like to, like, and you I like say, beautiful women. <laughs> exactly. Why? I love beautiful women and you do a Listen, great Listen, me too. And I'm not lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate women. And to be honest, yeah. I photograph men and women and like it's nothing like a like a woman. Yeah. Nothing. Like the beauty that we have, mm -hmm. it's it doesn't compare. Oh, a hundred percent. And I, I totally agree with you. And I think that's something to 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 always be celebrated and always be appreciated. So um all right, so you you got through your breast cancer treatments and did you find do you find yourself now like completely let me backtrack, actually. Are you doing this solely as your, as your only source of income? Like just doing photography now? No, I'm not. You're still juggling another job? Yes. Yeah, a lot of people still do that because- Yes, no, you can't. This is just like a, like a part-time. Okay, yeah. And you're, you're just doing so well with it. Do you spend a lot of time, let me ask you this. Do you spend a lot of time on the technical sometimes? Like constantly working on those little nuances or is it like you just get out there and, and you just you just try by doing? No, I, 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 I always plan everything. And I always, I like to be the, create, the creative of whatever I'm shooting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's hard work. Right. It, you have to, you, people have no idea on what it takes to create something. Mm -hmm. You know, it's at the beginning, just sit, plan everything, right. even grind. And then like, okay, what is she gonna wear? Where? Mm -hmm. You know, and the, the pain of the person, that's how you, you start planning everything. All right, so you, so you have like a basic outline of how things will go, and then at some point your muse kind of takes over while you're in the session? Yes, totally. So you put in the hard work to, to, to build something specific and then just let the nuances show up out of the process itself? Yes. Okay. Yes, but, but and then, like I said, you have to have a communication with that person. Yes. That person has to have... A, you know, they need to feel that mm -hmm. energy that you have. And it's, it's a job that is based on my emotions. If I'm not doing well, I can't create something magical. Okay. I will, it will, ref, it will be reflected on my photography. So, all right, now, now you open up another set of questions. Yes. How do you stay in the right mind state then? I just try to separate, to meditate, to really, when I go there, I need to forget about any issue I have, any challenge I have and go into it okay. and try to, um, to bring that energy with me. So you go into because, like a mind state to kind of- Yes, yes, yes. And, and, and of course, uh, I had a few photo shoots that I saw the pictures and I'm like, no, I don't like them. Yeah. You know, and because the person, it wasn't, um, you know, that click with the person on the other side of the camera, right. you know, and so it has to be both. You, I try, I give my best I can, but the other person has to be willing to receive as well and to trust. And, um, you know, that's, that's the other, that's another issue. Do you have to, um, like try to establish a relationship with them first? Or is that something you've like found that was important to have that level of established trust and rapport with someone? Yes. After a while, you become like friends with the person, mm -hmm. <laughs> like a taxi driver. <laughs> 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 like, you know, when they, they hear yeah. all the old, whatever old stories, exactly. Yeah. That's a hairdresser, you know, the same thing yes. happened with me. And so I'm sure you have no problem building a rapport with someone really, really quickly. Uh, and I, I can see, and it comes through in, in the photographs uh, so much. Like I probably wouldn't be able to tell if you were having like an off day or, or not really connecting with that person. I'm glad. <laughs> and it's funny, you know, I interviewed um, a little while ago, I interviewed a rope artist who said something similar. It's like when he goes into his mind state, uh, he just gets in this like kind of, mode where he's just working and using the rope with the person and 
he's saying like he was able to like disconnect the rest of the world to the degree that looking at uh, the one of the last photo sets he did, I couldn't tell which one was his girlfriend and which one was the person he had met the night before. Wow. You know, because of, like you said, getting into that mind state will allow you to have that kind of connection and then Beautiful. flows with it. Uh, and it's fun. I only bring it up because I find it amazing where I've, get, I've gotten to do this a few times, these interviews, and to see where a lot of creatives of different modalities start to connect on some of the same points. It was the same thing I did when I got into personal development as I was getting sober, is I was just listening to all sorts of personal development and motivational coaches, modern and older, and just looking for the threads that connect where guys who are completely different. One, one guy's in finance, one guy's in fitness, one guy's in art, and just listening to these people and finding that connecting line between all their different uh, stories. And I'm hearing the same thing in yours. And there's an amazing beauty behind everything, not just what you do, but everything you went through. And yes. the, the, the kind of, if, if I'm not reaching too far, the kind of, there's almost like a tenderness when you capture the, these women that there's a lot of, like you say, trust uh, and a, a great level of respect I kind of read from the photograph. Do you ever, totally. does that ever come up to the surface or is it all kind of unconscious underneath? Does it ever come out in your sessions with people? Uh, what do you mean? Like the, like, like the, like the expression of, of trust and respect, or is it just kind of totally, the whole thing? totally. Okay. They stop telling me the problems right away or the, whatever. <laughs> They're like, okay. <laughs> they feel to be honest they feel very excited at that moment it's like a therapy because at the same moment i'm like oh my god look at this and i'm very uh hard on my work so i'm like okay so no i don't like it i don't like how you she looks <laughs> like uh, i don't like this can you please turn your face this way can you do this you know so they like that right that you're really just there with them um and and and, and synced up with them Totally. Yes. I, I'm incredible. Um, Thank you. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to wrap this now. Okay. So we'll maybe do a part two sometime in the future. Yes, I would love to. I appreciate that, and I'm glad. But before you go, there is one final question I ask absolutely every creative I get on the other side of this. Uh oh, I don't know. I don't know what uh, you're gonna ask. No, it's <laughs> the the question. The young man or woman or the the person who is looking to do what you're doing, who's looking to get into photography, who's looking to get a camera, who's looking to learn all this technical stuff. Um, what would you tell that person who's hemming and hawing, who's trying to decide what, whether they should go for it or not? What would you say? Life is too short. It sounds cliche, but do what you love. Go after what, you know, what makes you happy. It's hard to find your passion. And if you feel that that's your passion, I know photography is expensive too, mm -hmm. but this a way, this, you know, find a way, educate yourself, you know, do whatever you have to do, put like a jar, you know, savings to buy your first camera and do it because this is my best friend. Mm -hmm. I can go out, go everywhere by myself. And as long as I have this, I'm into, you know, I, my work is right here. So, just so go for it. yes, go for it. See, that's another connecting theme that I get with everybody. It, yes. Too many people overthink. And you're clearly a person who does not overthink. You let your heart move you. You let your passion drive you. Uh, and I'm certain, 100% certain, everyone who gets to watch this will definitely be inspired by you. So thank you. Thank you, Ma. Well. Thank really you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're amazing. I want to know more about you as well. All right, we'll definitely connect. You, you know what? You are another person who will inspire me as well. I'm so very, very glad. I, that, that, that just warms every cockle left in my heart. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Matt. All right, so from Gisela and Matt, this has been an incredible episode of Something 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 Creative. Take care, everybody. Catch you on the next one. Bye, everyone.